So we've got a super new, super exciting project in the shop today. I, I'm, I'm so excited to show y'all because I've been working on, of course, the Jeep and the Commando. And I finally finished this big turd that you see out here, which was a customer's car. That's a 1964 Grand Prix. But uh, now it's time to look at the new project. So I hope y'all enjoy. There's going to be a lot of subsequent videos about this project, mainly because there's going to be a lot of custom fab work and a lot of money and time put into it. And I'm super excited to get started on it. So here we go. I hope y'all enjoy. There you have it, a beautiful example of a 1981 Marathon Easy Go golf cart. Now this particular golf cart was originally electric, so it would had uh, you know a full bank of 36 volt batteries and an electric motor to drive it. Now for most circumstances that's just fine if you're putting around the neighborhood, back and forth to the pool, or you're just going around the golf course because you're going to be driving it short periods of time, which is what I'm technically going to be doing. However, after pricing out batteries, I decided the much better option would be to dump the old electrical and add gas powered because who doesn't love the smell of burnt gasoline? So what we have here is a full conversion uh, in store. We're gonna take all the electrical out, which we've already done. We're gonna prep to do drive shaft. So I've already made a universal joint and yoke into the rear diff that has a drive shaft for it. That drive shaft will be run into a universal reverse forward gearbox. Then from that gearbox, it will run to the motor, which will chain drive that gearbox to go forward and backwards. That means that I will have five speeds frontwards and five speeds backwards. What is that good for? Nothing. That's only because that's the way it works. So that's what we've got. Now, the nice bit about this project is there's going to be a bunch of fab work. So it means we're going to try some new things, some new uh, welder. I got a new TIG welder, so we're definitely going to be playing around with that a lot. Um, I've already ordered up the gas tank, the universal joints. I've already ordered up the clutch pedal because we are going to do this just like a modern car. It's going to have a centrifugal, centrifugal, a sequential gear shifter right here. Um, uh, right below the panel with a big long arm. So it's going to be a very unique setup. There's going to be a ton of custom linkage and custom work on the motor and kind of stuffing it all in there. The only major transformation we have to do on the golf cart is ripping out part of the frame arm. There's not quite enough room to squeeze the motor in with the way the frame is currently oriented. So we're going to cut that out and redesign it so that we can snug that motor in sideways. Uh, and that should give us the room we need in order to drive that gearbox without an issue. But I hope you enjoy and are as excited as I am. I'm super pumped about this project and the upcoming videos. So stay tuned and we'll see you soon. 